Hi, I'm Aidan Capaldi, I'm 23 and I'm an electrician by trade and I'm doing this part of the documentary through a lovely little music room that was made by my father. So yeah, you probably won't see it. Um, <laughs> uh, like I said, I'm an electrician so I want to focus on kind of the la one of the last jobs I did which can involve me working in 12 hour shift patterns. So uh, basically the shifts would be 6 till 6 so I'd need to wake up at 5 in the morning uh, can I just quickly drink some water, throw some clothes on and then try and get through to Livingston for 6 o'clock where I'd end up meeting the guy I'm working with and then picking up my van and getting told kind of what I'm doing. Um, once I got the van I'd head through to Grant, um, no Grant, <laughs> head through to kind of Edinburgh just around Gorgie and um, the main focus of the job would be to change all of their old uh, fluorescent fittings in their warehouse to LEDs. So the one, the part I can t think is the easiest to speak about is we were doing the uh, WIP and glass bond rooms. So uh, there's about 16 lights in total between both of the rooms. Like both, uh, no, no between. There's 16 lights in both of the rooms, so I had to kind of condense them down to. I think it was one, two, three, four. I think it was about 8 and 8 we ended up getting both of the rooms, so uh, I think we'd end up starting, by the time we got there, through all the traffic and that, probably at quarter to 7 uh, we'd end up starting, so what we'd end up doing is we'd go in and then straight away speak to the people who are there saying, uh, where's the breaker for these two rooms, and obviously no one knew, so I had to then go into the board, start just kind of flicking stuff off, giving everyone the little warning, your lights might flicker, nothing's happening, I'm just turning everything off. Um, by the time I figured out uh, the glass bond room, I'd had the other guy I was working with basically prepare the lights, so he was taking them out of the boxes, drilling the holes into them, basically the distance between the two wee bushes that we then had to screw into the trunk in. So once I found the glass bond, uh, we'd then just start all the lights off, well two rows off, uh, off take the lights down, uh, put them inside as neat as we could and then uh, start f uh, putting the new one up. Uh, I think we'd take, break would be around I think about 10 o'clock-ish on that day. Um, so there was a Sainsbury's kind of just around the corner. So there was either the Sainsbury's you go to or the wee petrol station which was owned by the Sainsbury's. Which I then found out Sainsbury's just didn't bother stocking because it was always empty. So I'd end up getting like a sandwich uh, maybe a chocolate bar and a just kind of monster and uh, we'd sit for like half an hour or something just kind of talking shit with each other and all that stuff um, we'd go back in, I think it'd be about half ten half ten, twenty to ten we'd go back in uh, and we'd just start lights down, lights up and then once we've finished two of the rows turn those back on just to make sure that there was nothing wrong with the LEDs making sure all the lights uh, had their earth, make sure all the anything, any light that had to be taken out and uh, any connections had to be done in the trunk room were safe. Um, and then kind of once we did that, we turn off the last row that was in that room and then just start going down and up, down and up again, just can basically continuing the same thing. Uh, once I'd done that and the uh, glass bomb was all finished, I had uh, the main guy they had who was kind of telling me what to do, he came in I'd say, is this good for you? He said, plenty of light, I'm happy. And then he kind of just left me alone. Because he just, honestly, I don't really think he cares. <laughs> he was just kind of like, yeah, there's lights in here now, bye. It's kind of what it felt like. Um, then we'd just kind of repeat what we did in that room, just in the WIP. The only problem was there was actually people working in there. So I had to say to them, uh, be prepared because the lights are going to go out. So I was thinking, I'll just do it a row at a time. But... The problem with these lights was, for some reason, they were linked, but it was like the middle row was kind of linked for that row, like the far one close to the wall and the other one close to the other wall. So no matter what I did, you always had a live in the lights. It was so weird. So I ended up just having to bite the bullet and say to them, all the lights are going off, just so I could quickly do that. Um, I think I managed to get changed about five of them as quick as I could after ripping them down and then it's about 12 o'clock, half 12 maybe pushing 1 o'clock, I think it's probably 1 
Uh, then we would end up going for our lunch. Um, at this point, I've just started kind of getting quite involved in uh, kind of fitness again and dieting and stuff like that. So I didn't really, I had, I didn't really need to eat at this point because I wasn't really hungry. But uh, so I just kind of drink water or something. Um, then I think it was about half an hour we pull off for that lunch, and we go in about half one, two o'clock, just kind of depend when we started it. Uh, then it was just a case of going back into WIP, trying to rattle through the final wee lights as quick as we could, just to make sure, like, if anything did go wrong, I didn't like we didn't have to stay any longer. We could then go, all right, it's all working except that light. So then we had enough time to kind of fix any problems that could arise if. Like if something stupid went wrong, like one of the lights didn't work or something, like it was a faulty light or something, so we wouldn't need to stay till like eight o'clock trying to figure it out. So I think we ended up getting, uh, we finished both of those rooms about about half four ish, around about that. Um, then from half four to about half five, we just started kind of cleaning up uh, all the circuits, making sure they're all back on, make sure nothing's tripping. Uh, tidying up the areas just to make sure anyone who's working on a back shift or a night shift in that area um, would not have to kind of worry about what we've been doing just in case they're thinking oh the spot is everything safe can we work in here are the sparks doing this stuff so we kind of wanted to just make it as easy for them uh, to kind of go about their business as it is for us um, once we get to about half five everything's cleaned up we would then just go into our van uh, drive back to Livingston and hope uh, nine times out of ten we'd miss the traffic. I think there was sometimes it's just kind of depending on the day, really. <laughs> there was one day we ended up getting caught on the, the road. I think a car was on fire right outside of Livingston. We were going to take the A seventy one. It's like now nah, we'll take the motor, we'll be fine. And then we found out there was a car on fire right outside like the lane for Livingston. So we got stuck in a lovely traffic jam for about fucking hour. But, <laughs> once I get back about six o'clock. Dump the van, make sure we don't need anything for the rest for the next day. We're all kind of sorted. Then it's just kind of drive home, and then usually it takes me about fifty minutes on a good day to get here from Livingston. Um, go in and it's either going straight away from work and just uh, use my gym, and then go up and shower. So by the time I ended up doing that, it was about probably seven, half seven. By the time I'm done a small workout and then I've done my shower and then that will usually be a time is when I'll eat something and uh, kind of in this house it's kind of it, it, it's kind of depending on what you get so you really get like spaghetti bolognese, um, fajitas, like chicken wrapped in parma ham like uh, the Philadelphia herb and cheese stuff uh, it's kind of just depending on what I get I can't, off the top of my head I can't remember what I got that day it was probably chicken because there's a lot of chicken in the house um, after that, I'd got kind of, I'd got to my room, and I'd either, depending on what day it was, because sometimes I don't like, uh, I'm quite weird when it comes to playing games. I don't like playing games during the week, so I'd rather, like if I'm doing them, I play games kind of Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So during the week, I'll probably end up watching kind of something on Netflix or uh, kind of Amazon. Uh, I'm quite into uh, anime and like kind of manga, so I like uh, reading, reading all that stuff and kind of like most recently, like I've been reading Tokyo Ghoul RE. Which just the full on from Tokyo Ghoul. That's had a adaption from for anime, so I, I enjoy kind of geeking out, and understanding like oh, that's that's exactly what happened in the manga. That's brilliant. So I'm quite a, I wouldn't say purist. I'm just, I think I'm quite a big nerd. I think that's pretty much the easy way to talk about myself when it comes to this kind of stuff like that. Um, and then I think it would be depending on the day. I'd either go out on Friday night, my mate who lives about half a mile down the road, kind of something like that. Um, and uh, if I don't work, I'm just going to be a wee hermit and just kind of hide in my room. And just kind of either play like something like Assassin's Creed, I'm replaying Origins, just waiting for the new one to come out. Or uh, kind of like uh, Attack on Titans game that came out, which I completed in six hours after borrowing it from a friend. And yeah, <laughs> I'm just quite... Ah, quite, it's quite sad when you say it out loud. <laughs> But yeah, I think from Monday to Thursday, I think I'll end up going to sleep about 10 o'clock ish, maybe 9 o'clock. But yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say. So yeah, bye. <laughs>